He's better than his cousin. <laughs> you see, you, still you see how I snuck that in? <laughs> Helping off that strong side shooter coming up with that deflection. Hey, listen, I had coaches in the past. They say, if you're going to go, you better get it. And right there, Denny got it. Jerome's three hits the front of the round. In this year's draft was the NBL Rookie of the Year last year over there in Australia. So this kid, to me, in my eyes, is letting his foot off the gas, staying aggressive, attacking that hoop. Eventually, he will get that call. Giddy to Jerome. Jerome's floater is good right over the hand of Daniel Gafford. Darius Baisley all alone. He can't do that. Jerome again floating. True, we've seen a lot of paint points. Paint. They're killing you by getting into the paint and getting whatever they want. You see, they're two for 11 from three. Force them to take three point shots. I say all that. He, I'm say and then guess what? He hits front rim. No, you called it. <laughs> or actually, should I say crack down in that department of the paint points and force them to be outside shooters in. You have a four point lead. Shot clock. He gets it in. Ty Jerome gets it before the shot clock goes off. Davis, he doesn't have too much time to try to heat up. You know, he's going to get a couple looks if he's not knocking down any shots. You got to go to the next man up mentality. Bertans with the rebound. Pull! Oh, wow. Gave him free reign. You see the field goal shooting in this quarter. Jerome with a pull up mid range. Defensively and get mandatory buckets for the Wizards losing Brad. I mean, that's a gut punch and he's usually the guy down the stretch 